Hello and shout guys, Nexus here and welcome back to Destiny 2 and in today's video guys we are back of course with more stuff to go over and what we're going to be looking at today is going to be somewhat a week late okay Guardian Games has been here a while but if you haven't played Guardian Games you have probably been getting some weapon drops and what we're looking at today is going to of course be the Tarax Epos. The Tarapos? The Tower of Scout Rifle itself. We always make it easy, guys. The Tower of Scout Rifle itself, though. This is going to be a strand uh, scout rifle that you can, of course, obtain from doing the Guardian Games event. As soon as you hand in any of your medallions, of course, to the podium at the tower, you will have a chance of getting either this, the title, and, of course, the Hubaloo freaking grenade launcher, whatever this thing, though. Hullabaloo. But the Tower Scout Rifle itself, this is actually a really, really dope ass scout rifle. And I will say, 200s when this came out, 200 RPM scout rifles weren't exactly amazing. They were okay. They actually did really well. But I will definitely say, 200 RPMs are a lot more effective in the current meta, especially with checkmate control. And with the rows you can get in this, these can absolutely slay. Like, Maida is doing absolute work right now. The Tower is the same. This thing can do absolute freaking work, especially with the rolls it does have. But you'll see on the screen now all the rolls you can get. So you can get some really, really sweet ones. Like, you can get that uh, Eye of the Storm with the Kill Clip roll. You can get an Explosive Payload, which is dope. You got things like Focus Fury, Cascade Point. It is strong, so it's hatching. It's got the Precision Instrument. So yeah, we have to showcase what this is like now in some PvP and PvE. See if it's worth kind of keeping any of those god rolls. You might be farming guardian games out anyway, but it's to see which rolls you should want to keep. So without further ado, let's go into PvP with the Tara Scout Rifle. Alrighty, so we're going to be on a course where I'm having with a little Tara Epoxis or whatever it's freaking called. Going in with their 200 RPM. Don't hit me, buddy. And here comes the treetop. Oh! oh! I whiffed! Oh, we choked. Oh my god. Okay, boys, we choked. Okay, Re review over, guys. I'm not recovering. I ain't recovering from the embarrassment. But you can definitely see that this sort of scout rifle, it is going to be really nice. It's going to be a four top and everything. I will definitely say, oh, oh, why is there always a worm, dude? Why? <laughs> oh my god, there's two people here. But you can definitely see that in PvP and everything. It can be really, really nice in there uh, when you get the kind of shots going. Especially when you kind of uh, get any sort of damage buff on these now. They actually do so much damage. You can kind of see with the kill clips and whatnot. That's the DMT, which is insane right now. But scare rifles, they've definitely come into their own a little bit. I will say, of course, up close and everything, you're still going to be on the struggle bus. I mean, up close, they're never going to do that well. And that's why keep away road is really nice. But what I really do like about scouts now is that when you hit your shots, my good god, it's like 200 RPM at freaking range. You can just absolutely annihilate people. Now, there's people everywhere. I want to just kind of... Okay. Okay. No! Freaking why are you just in my face? But yeah, if you get... But yeah, if you get the right lines... But if you get the right lines... But if you get the, like, right lines of engagement, that is heavy. Oh, thank God we are team shot, buddy. Oh, buddy. Guys, guys. Why, 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 why? Why is there always two guys peeking my ass? But if you get, of course, the right sort of engagements and everything like this. Oh, my God. He's up my face. You can absolutely annihilate. And I will definitely say with the kill clip, you can get on this as well. Yo, buddy. No. Boys. <laughs> like, how is he not dead? What? When Trolls was here on the weekend, scout rifles were actually doing really well. Now, I will say DMT is a bit more, I'd say bang for your book but i'm telling you right now 200 rpms they are saucy right now throw on a mitre or something like that and the damage is going to be freaking nutty now there is two dudes here oh we get, get one at least nope <laughs> oh he's one hp get rid of the wall get rid of the wall get rid of the wall oh my god i ran out of bullets buddy <laughs> we got him now but yeah in game modes now where it's kind of as say it's a it's a lot more kind of try to live where you want to be sitting back a little bit and everything it's going to be really, really nice. As I said, this roll, especially with the kill clip and everything kind of going. Especially when you're against the DMTs and everything, 200 RPM. I'm telling you, they can absolutely delete people. I mean, if I could actually aim... My good God, I'd be absolutely destroying these people. I'd actually be just legit nailing headshot after headshot. But it is just honestly just really, really sweet right now when it comes to uh, how it feels and everything. As I said, Mida just feels a lot juicier because Mida has like some of the best freaking... Oh my God, he got the game. But Maida has some of the best freaking headshot to uh, what's called target acquisition ever you can get. So that's why Maida can feel really, really juicy right now. I'm telling you, 200 RPMs. I wouldn't say they're slept on, but they're definitely an archetype where people are just not going near. Everyone's just using the old school freaking... Oh, that's freaking super! But yeah, I definitely will say the biggest downfall of this weapon, as much as I think it is good, it is going to be map sort of depends and everything. Like you can see, it's not bad on this map. And yo, young man, thank you. It's not bad in this map. There is some certain lines where I can actually start getting hits and everything in, but definitely in the current meta. Oh my god, boys. Not a freaking Nova Bomb. And he's actually gonna peek this. <laughs> he's gonna keep jiggling me. Come on, buddy. Freaking fight with honor. What is this? You screwed. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I love doing that to people. But yeah, with of course, and oh my god, he nearly freaking supered my ass, yo. Oh my god. Every freaking time. <laughs> Always me. I dodge a Nova bomb. He doesn't, not there. Freaking play or freaking thread a needle. Stupid ass Spectre guy comes in. He doesn't kill me. Then a freaking play barrage. I got hit by three supers in a row. Oh, we get this guy though. And there's the kill. We get the kill. Keep going. We shred this guy. Oh my god. We get the kill. <laughs> I mean, I am just swinging so freaking close with this thing, which you're not really meant to. But as I said, the damage is definitely going to be there. I think in the current meta, 200 RPMs definitely have a place right now. You got to hit your headshots, though. If you do not, it's like a hand cannon, really. A long range that sort of hand cannon. If you don't hit your headshots, though, you're going to be on the struggle bus. You're definitely going to just be struggling so much. Like you can see, one bullet there. That's all I need. One more freaking bullet in the head. All right, there's a dude with a DMT here, though. I'm going to get double freaking peeked. And what is this? Your mod is two stupid ass specters. Is this all the freaking. And then he freaking pops some worms at me. Are you real freaking hell? Oh, uh, there's the kill. I got kill clip kind of going, though. But I'm so confused where everyone is. Oh, but there's the triple top. That's the kill clip juiciness. As I said, kill clip is actually really really dope on this get rifle when you kind of get it going but as i said it is just going to be somewhat map dependent i think that's just like legit the biggest kind of oh my god no 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 buddy oh i'm so dead, so dead. <laughs> he's probably so pissed oh third person peeking you gotta love it and yo you no way you get away with this <laughs> but yeah i definitely will say the biggest problem with scare rifles right now is that they're going to just be kind of dependent on map as i said it's always been the curse of scare rifles Especially on certain maps and everything, certain scouts have just been uh, better or whatever. Or certain uh, maps just bode well, like of course for stock and everything like that. But as you can kind of see, when you get the right engagement, it actually does kind of work out. But he, we got his ass, freaking high kill clip going. We get this guy as well. Oh, freaking getting the damage in now, boys. We getting the damage in now. Freaking have to pop off at the end. And oh, no, 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 no. We got him. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> But as I said, guys, the Tara, it can go freaking in right now. That's what I'm saying. When this came out, it was definitely a meta where I would definitely kind of say 200s weren't too great. But the current meta with the checkmate control and everything, it is actually really, really sweet kind of to go in with the 200 RPM. I will say they're a little bit, uh, I'd say less forgiving probably as the 120s because 120s hit so freaking hard. But I do think that with the rolls, you can get in this like a kill clip roll or if you get, of course, the keep away and everything. It's got a lot going for it. Any sort of damage buff too, and this thing's just gonna absolutely pop off. Like I mean, even radiant way let's start triple tapping with this. That's how freaking nice it can be now. How about I get talk because the guy up our ass and oh the 109s, the 109s, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder what kill clip with this actually be like. I what 16? Oh man, I say he's so freaking pissed off. But yeah, I will definitely say overall that this uh, sort of scare rifle, it is gonna be really really nice in the right freaking uh, what's it called. Not ink builds or anything like that. I mean, the strong build it was nice, but I think it more so the oh my god, it's too. But more so in the right engagements, it's always map dependent. It's been legit. The one thing with scare rifles since day one, doesn't matter what archetype, it's always been map dependent. But I'm telling you, you get onto a long range map, or even if you're getting like trials where you're trying to pick people off from range, that is where freaking oh, freaking dumbass treaded specters, and these are actually gonna chase me. What is this? You think I'm weak, buddy, right? Oh, oh. Buddy, buddy, what the? I don't know how overtime works. I don't know how overtime works in this. I do not know how it works, but we get the kill. <laughs> do we win? Is that the win? I think we win every freaking time. I think that's how it works. And oh my God, it's jumped straight out of freaking sidearm meta. Wait, it actually ties the game? Oh, maybe I true there. My teammate got my crest though, so it wasn't my fault, boys, okay? It was not my fault, I swear. All righty, time for the PvE side of things, of course, with our little freaking uh, tower boxes that good. This is what it's going to be like PvE. This roll is four times charm with, of course, uh, the old, oh, cascade point. Now, cascade point, I need to get kills with this or something like that. So, is it actually not even kills? Just think you get hits if I could actually aim. <laughs> you just need to get hits and everything, and you'll definitely see that PvE... It can be really, really nice. I know PvP, some people will definitely say to go in with the Cascade Point. You definitely can. I mean, PvP, this can go in with the Cascade Point as well. But it's just really, really nice in the old PvE side of things that you can just do things like that. Now, uh, we just got absolutely destroyed by PvE. This is why I'm not a PvE guy, guys. This is why I don't do PvE that often. <laughs> well, you can definitely see in PvE, it can be a lot better with Cascade Point and everything. There is hashling rolls too. And with four times the charm, I can definitely spam out shots, as I said. This is a really, really solid kind of role you can go for. Explosive payload is going to be there too, but 
PvE is where you're going to see a lot of benefits to this sort of scout rifle. I know scout rifles... I mean, SMGs, don't get me wrong. They're just like the kind of go-tos and everything like that. But when you kind of get this going, I mean... You can kind of see it go in really, really well. It is going to be strong too. So you can see picking up an orb with the uh, current seasonal mods this season. I did get unraveling rounds, which of course is going to be really, really nice when it comes to uh, PvE. As I said, I just think PvE overall, this is just actually a really, really nice sort of scout rifle to kind of get. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, we've got a lot of kind of strong weapons. When this first came out, this was like the first strong sort of scout you could get. But I'm pretty sure it's like the only strong Amalon weapon. So you can probably get it for that reason. I'll oh, freaking loan. But there's the Unraveling Grounds. You can see I'm doing so much damage with Unraveling. You can see <laughs> rapidly defeat enemies. That's just legit because I was spamming the Unraveling Grounds. I, I want to kind of I want to kind of absolutely demolish though. Like a freaking ogre or something like this with the Cascade Point. You can see. <laughs> oh, it can be so freaking nice with the four times the charm as well. It can actually go in really hard. I'm probably going to die to PvE right now. With four times the charm as well, I can actually just spam those shots out super consistently. Double primary sort of setup. So there is a lot kind of going for this weapon when it comes to uh, just even just the rolls in general. As I said, it's a really nice sort of scout. I do will definitely say though when it comes to it, you can see all the hatching spawning. I will definitely say though when it comes to it that um, people would 100% kind of go in with different sort of high RPMs and PVE. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying this is the greatest weapon in the world, but... These sorts of events only come around once a freaking a year, basically, Guardian Games does. And so that means that this weapon only comes around once a year. That is one of the reasons you should try get it, as I say. You don't want to have FOMO. For people who missed out in the last season, this is the or last year, this is the best way to get it. All right, the final boss time, of course, with a little tower that could. And as I said, it is a really, really dope ass sort of scare rifle. I think that just because it is also a kind of a FOMO-ish sort of weapon in terms of it's once a year, it's definitely going to be worth kind of getting your hands on for that reason alone. I mean, as I said, if you're doing the Guardian Games, you're most likely going to be picking up some rolls of this anyway. But <laughs> Oh, when you get that freaking Cascade Point going, it can just be so freaking sweet. And that's two freaking big ass knights. But I just think that overall, it's um, it's just a really uh, nice sort of scare right full. And did I actually miss him? Oh my god. Freaking dumbass thing dodged me. But it's a really nice sort of scare right to kind of get your hands on, as I said. Especially in the current meta, when you see in PvP, it can definitely do work with any sort of damage buff or whatnot. Easy buffs too. Put this on a hunter with a freaking a radiant dodge. Easy tree tops for days. As I said, there's so much kind of going for this right now in PvP and PvE. So, ah, I got hit by freaking mod. So, I definitely will be looking at getting this though. As I said, you're going to be getting rolls regardless because obviously guarding games. So, you get some god rolls. Do not sleep in it because it will do absolute work. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the Tarax Ipos itself. I think that's the best way of saying it. But the Tara freaking scout rifle. This scout rifle is really, really dope. I think that honestly, I didn't even go over the iron traits. That's classic contender, final blows, the weapon guns, class building energy, and also the Omnon fluid dynamics. But I do think honestly that this is worth getting some rolls of. I know anyone who did the past event probably already have their god rolls and everything, which is kind of a shame that they kind of update the rolls on this. But for new people or for people who missed out last time, it's definitely worth getting. And especially because. It's a lot better than it was when it first came out. When this first came out, scouts were in obviously a really bad place. Two winters were okay, but of course, DMTs and everything were better. Now these are in a really solid space in terms of the meta and everything. PvP, they can absolutely delete people. You'll do work. You'll do absolute work. So yeah, don't sleep on this just because it's scout rifles. Scout rifles are coming into their own, are coming a lot more of the meta. And I will definitely say to Tara, this one's a really solid one, especially in the Strand archetype. This is an absolute banger of a scout. But regardless, if you liked the video, show us a like. I don't need some more content. Subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, you'll see the next collective in the next one.